Uh, Rainbow actually didn't put too many albums out, but uh, every album they put is a uh, masterpiece for itself. Uh, how could you how uh, how could you uh, choose songs for a set list? Because every song could be played live and would be fit That's right. a very good question. It's very yes. difficult. Well, we. Um, I, th I think we needed some of the songs, like from the, the heavier songs from the Dio era, because yeah. I think you know that would really get the fans' attention. You know, um, and, and there's some great songs, you know, like uh, "Kill the King" and uh, "Tower Woman" and "Stargazer." It was the You know, um, I'm not going to tell everything. And then we wanted to do the obvious Graham songs, the Graham Bonnet songs. Obvious hits. We have a few of the, the, the Doogie White songs, and we got a lot of stuff that Joe was on. And I think it's a really good representation. It's like if I wanted to go see this band and I was a, a fan, we're playing the songs that I, that I think we'd all want to yeah. hear. You know, I think it, I think it's in the balance. You know, we want this project to be, be authentic and very true. And in order to be true, we have to have a balance of all the the, the incarnations of Rainbow. And this is how we had to pick them. Although we left dozens of songs out that are masterpieces. But eventually we'll keep changing the set, you know, and working different songs in, which you'll never get bored if you come to see the shows. Because we have so much catalog to pull from. So hopefully, you know, we start here and then we move on. So. Our initial list, before we honed it down to what it is, was like <laughs> the amount of songs that we initially had. Great, and it was really hard to choose which ones. But I think we got it right. Have you thought about writing new songs so that Jürgen could leave his mark on rock history? Absolutely. That's the plan. Okay, so thanks. Cool. Yeah, that's that's the plan. That's first, but first we want to we want to walk, you know, before we run and if we are accepted by everyone here and, and the fans and they like this project, you know, this I mean let's face it, there's no sense in, in beating a dead horse. If someone doesn't like what we're doing, then who cares, right? But so far we've had incredible reaction from through Russia and Japan and everywhere. So we feel that this is a viable band and then we will make the original music mixed in, of course. So, you know, of course. Anyway, I, I just want to say something that's maybe important to, to know what's behind the curtain. And I did get, in the beginning, I did get so many emails for, for this project. So everybody is saying, please go on stage and do this because otherwise this won't be happening. And all these fans say, hey, this is my, my dream, my, my wish that, that I see Rainbow Live again. So please do it. So that was in the end the point why I done this. Because I done, did done this to, to get money or do, so to have, in the end I, I only wanted to, to, to give this to the fans. Because if, if I wouldn't say yes, there wasn't, wasn't be this this over the rainbow so no, that is specially made for the fans so I I hope that we get that back, back what I actually get uh, through the emails in the beginning so and now it's coming up and it's, it's you have to understand Jürgen was the only choice for guitar there is no other choice for guitar because any other guitarist we would get would not would not be a rainbow and really. you told me this before I mean, you say if you don't do it nothing yeah if he didn't do it he's a key player if he didn't do it, then we, there, this would not exist because, again, we are trying to be truthful and, and genuine. And, th and this makes it, blood is definitely loud. It's okay. <laughs> this is a Blackmore on guitar. Without Just that, look at him. <laughs> no, yeah, it's Big Richie, really. <laughs> so, so I just want to make sure that everyone knows that. Without that, we wouldn't do it because then it wouldn't be authentic. And we're here to be authentic. We are not a fucking tribute. We are the band. We play in the band. We wrote the song. We recorded the song. We recorded the song. Hallelujah. Oh, nothing but shit. Can I get an amen? Hey, hallelujah, Reverend Turner. Hallelujah. Hello, my name is Vera. I'm from Russia, Quasi Group Edition. Brilliant. <laughs> I am going to ask you a question about your latest tour in Russia. Did you enjoy it? And of course, I have a question to Robert Dinelli because, as far as I know, in Minsk your drum was stolen. Yes. Yeah. You found it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she wants to say it. <laughs> no, no, no. But please tell me the story of it. 
Um, we thing. had just. It was our first. It was our first show. First show. The first show on uh, first one for the Rainbow Show. Really ever. good luck. Huh? And it was in Minsk. And um, the president of Russia was in a, in the next building, <laughs> swimming or something. He stole it. And there were there was hundreds hundreds of security. You know, it was very all men in dark suits with earpieces. You know, talking into their wrists and blah, blah, blah. and um, but after the show, the president left. And all the security left. And my roadie was packing up my drums, and he took the snare drum and put it on the stage and the stick bag. And the next thing he knows, he sees somebody running out of the building with it. So they stole my drum on the first, the first show. I never saw it again. And what, and what we heard was very funny because we heard it was just some big, long-haired, fat, drunken guy. <laughs> who just came on stage like he walked on stage and just, just looking around, around, you know, around. so drunk and started to get in a taxi with the drum because the taxi driver he he uh, authenticated the fact that they saw this guy get in the taxi with a drum. So we went chasing the taxis and uh, well not us but the police. We, we never we, found we never found it, never heard anything about it again. But aside from that that, that, that Russian tour made us a band. It was great. The Russian people were Russian great. people are amazing. Yes. By the way, it was my birthday in Petersburg. Really? Yes. Uh -huh. It's in Petersburg? Yeah. The same day? The same day, 16th of February. That's right. Yeah. It was her birthday that same day. Uh, okay, well, uh, time is not on our side, so we have to ask for a final question. And it's over here. Uh, hi there. Um, well, my question was uh, in a way asked by that lovely lady over there. I'm uh, from uh, 1055 Rock uh, from Radio Thessaloniki, Greece. You've actually been there yeah. and you, your show rock. Yes. Uh, my show is kind of a rock and roll satire, so I kind of, of uh, trying to make fun of the rock stars in a nice sense, always in a nice sense. You must have so, me. Uh, yeah, I know you're a very <laughs> funny guy and uh, I hope you are the <laughs> appropriate to answer. <laughs> I would like you to share um, a kind of an embarrassing situation uh, from the over the rainbow, apart from this which was really, uh, um, well, an unfortunate thing and uh, I will have to ask uh, how you should estimate the drum set for the eBay people. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> An embarrassing situation. How about when Tony fell on stage? That was, that was, oh, yes. well, that was yes. in Tokyo, was it? No, or, where is it oh, not? No. He felt well, he's always <laughs> 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 I, I turn around and I see him, he's, he's playing and he steps backwards and next thing I <laughs> Oh, it takes the speakers down the uh, Embarrassing situation. I haven't had any embarrassing situations yet. Maybe today. No. <laughs> Before we end, we just want to say that Tony, uh, Tony Carey has been ill. Um, he's still in the band. He will be back soon. Uh, I spoke to him on the phone yesterday. Uh, we got Paul Morris, who's doing a great yeah, job. Thank you, Paul. Rainbow Mark Four. Yeah, Paul really, Paul really helped us out tremendously. He learned the show. We had one rehearsal, uh, one rehearsal with me and Greg in the States, and one as a band here. And um, we have he was really helping us out Four tremendously. Days. We love him. And um, Four days. Tony will be back. And um, it's a family of, of Rainbow, really. Right. It's oh, a yeah. Family. Family, yeah. Family, family project, as Jurgen likes to say. Family, right? <laughs> the stick goes on. It goes on, you know. It's, it's a legacy. So we thank you all because uh, of, it feels very positive here. And if you are positive, then you will spread this word to, to the people. Thank you. And, and, you. and, we, and, I, you. and I want to say thank you for everybody that I get this accepting thing, you know. Because in the beginning, I thought, oh dear, you know, how is it to go on stage, you know? <laughs> about if I'm the son of Richie that's you know everybody goes yeah you have the son but not Richie I know this but I try to give my best to get this thing together and be there and that's all I wanted and I accept it from all the fans out there even in Russia when we start we get this you know everybody accepted me very much and they always say you thank you for this and I want to say thank you for everybody accepting me thank you thank you